Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chloe Brown and if you are new here, welcome. I'm so happy that you are here. Today I'm going to show you this kind of crimpy wave tutorial. Um, it's used with my flat iron. It's something that mimics the beach waver. Is that what it's called? You know that thing, that tool but um, it's kind of a little more not perfect and I love it. And I love that this hairstyle is so fit for summer. So without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. I just realized I had lipstick all over my teeth. I probably had it this whole time. Winning, but that's real life. Just ignore it or not, whatever. It's me. <laughs> Welcome, hello. Today I'm gonna do, wow, a hair tutorial. Crazy, I know. Um, I'm gonna do a wave that's like a beachy wave kind of thing, faking it, but not using a tool that you like have to, you know those like beach wavers where they're like three barrels in one? Like, cool, that's great. I don't wanna spend another 30 bucks on something that I can do just fine with a flat iron. <laughs> I mean, sure, those things are easy to use. I'm not gonna lie, but I know that they have a very hard, like some of them don't have like a temperature control gauge, which I'm huge about. Um, and I know they kind of take forever because you have to like hold it down, hold it down, hold it down. So I'm going to teach you a way to do that to where you can get that same type of look, but um, do it with short hair because I know that thing is hard to use with uh, short hair. Um, but also it'll save you money because you only need one tool to do it. <laughs> if you're new here, the tool that I'm gonna use is the Croc New Classic Flat Iron. It's the infrared. Um, I always use the infrared. It's just uh, gets your hair, it protects your hair more. Like it's a higher frequency, so less heat, but it does the same job. Um, so I'm gonna set it to 350 and we are just gonna flat iron this undercut. If you have not watched a video of mine ever before, I'm growing out um, my undercut. And this is about seven months growth. So hair grows six inches every year. Takes a while, okay? <laughs> so when you get a side cut, don't expect it to grow super fast. Now the undercut in the back takes like a month and a half maybe to grow out maybe two months and uh, it's super easy. So the undercut in the back is like the easiest thing ever if you have short hair. Um, but the side does take a long time. So just be patient with it. Okay, so I'm just going to flat iron the bottom section. You don't need to do much with that. I like flat ironing it towards my neck just so it doesn't flip out. Um, I'm gonna do two sections of that. Now, if you had an undercut, just disregard this but do you see that flip out? You see what I'm talking about? Flips out. So we want it to bend the other way. Now, if you're asking about, if you're wondering why didn't I put heat protectant on my hair? I did that last night before I went to bed. Um, usually I do that right when I get out of the shower. Now I could do another layer, but I just don't want to fill my hair with a whole bunch of products that I don't need. I also have the infrared on and I have my flat iron set to 320 or 350 degrees, I think, today. The heat protectants that I do use are the Malou Hair Shield um, by Davinez, and then I also put a little bit of Damage Remedy by Aveda in there, and then Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. Okay, so now what we're going to do with this first layer is I'm gonna curl like that, turn it, flip it this way, and then I like to straighten the ends. Um, so there we go, there's the first wave done. It looks like I just put it in a beach waver but I didn't. The next one, I'm gonna go under and then over and then under, kind of like that. I like doing them alternating directions. It gives it a little bit more texture and your hair is not all laying the same way. Bottom layers, you don't have to be like super crazy about them. Just let them be. I think the most important bend is the first one. And then everything kind of falls into place after that. This hairstyle I find to be super fast and it lasts quite a long time. So the first day you wear it is kind of a little bit more wavy. And then the days after that, it kind of just feels like a beachy hairstyle. All right, next layer. 
I'm gonna curl this one under first or wave it. So I do like to turn my flat iron when I go on the top section pretty pretty drastically. Um, I want it to be noticeable. So let's do it up. I don't know, it, it probably speaks for itself. I don't know if I have to like talk about <laughs> what I'm doing, but you get it. I'm just changing direction. So instead of flat ironing it all the way around or twisting it, I'm just bending my hair. And then as you're noticing the bottoms, I'm running my flat iron through it straight so that it, um, it polishes off the ends. If you have a flat iron that feels like it's pulling your hair, don't use it. I would suggest getting a, getting one that glides through your hair pretty smoothly. Uh, this one I've never had any issues with, and I do like that it's very thin because I do get that crimp exactly how I want it. Now say if your flat iron is thicker, you probably won't get the same result as me. So I'm really able to get a bend in there. Or the bend that I want. Now the smaller the sections you take, the more wave and separation you're going to get. Um, I'm kind of doing both. I want my hair to look wavy, but I also want it to have, um, I don't know, not necessarily like, oh look, my hair is so curly wavy everywhere. So I'm taking bigger sections and I'm taking smaller sections as well. Okay, so this is gonna be my part for this side. Um, you can kind of flip flop your hair with this hairstyle, which I really like, but you wanna make these top layers really defined and exactly how you want them. So just make sure you take your time with the top layer. Now, if it helps you hold the hair as you're doing it to kind of guide it down, All right, top section. Like I said, you really want to focus on doing smaller sections up here, just really tiny little pieces to just make them more defined. So I'm just going in here, taking littler sections, really making sure that everything is crimped and defined, and I'm taking out the hairs that have already been uh, curled or waved <laughs> or crimped, whatever you want to call this. All right, this front section, I'm really gonna pay attention to what I'm doing because I want a lift on that front. So I'm gonna make the lift actually bigger. And then I'm gonna put the crimp in at the end. Because if I were to do that crimp earlier, it kind of would have been a little funky. And then a lot of times with the front area, I just add little bends just to polish it off. Okay, if you have not heard of Sexy Hair's new texture line, 
Oh my gosh, first off, it smells like you're at the beach, so this is the perfect kind of scent for this hairstyle, but they have textured hairspray and then just a texture spray. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray everything with this guy, and then I'm gonna go in with a texture finishing spray at the end. So I'm gonna spray in here. I really like getting that texture at the root. Back there, we're gonna separate the hair and get it really at the root, and this just, this adds lift. It adds some grit to your hair so it gets volume. You guys know how much I love volume, so. Okay, now we're gonna go in with high tide. I'm gonna spray the front of my hair, obviously. We know if I don't have the front of my hair volumized, then like, is it really a Chloe hairstyle? Probably not. I think I'm just a that kind of gal. Some people don't like volume. <laughs> me, I'm like, oh yeah, give me more, please. I want it. So I like to just scrunch it up a little bit. I'm not gonna add any teas in it. I don't feel like it needs it. It kind of is just that, like that, I don't know, flowy hairstyle. And the longer the day goes on, it'll kind of just get not necessarily more relaxed, but it'll piece together some. Okay, with this type of hairstyle, something that I really like to do is polish off the ends so that they kind of stick together a little bit more. So I'm gonna go in with ADH Dry. If you guys love braids, seriously, get this stuff. It adds that perfect amount of grit in your hair that you need to keep your braids together. Or if you want some lift to your hair, put a little bit in this, emulsify it in your fingers, put it at the root of your hair and blow dry your hair. Um, up and then like kind of cool it down. It gives you lift for days, but it's just a little texture paste So think of like the dry texture spray that I just used but in a cream form. So I'm just gonna add a little bit on my fingertips and Finish off the ends with some of this paste Like kind of dreadlock it, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, and there's that. All right, and here we go. Here is the finished look. Okay, and with this hairstyle, there are so many cute things that you can do with hair accessories. Literally, I'm gonna put in like a minute clip of me using the stuff because I posted it on my um, Instagram story. Literally, so many fun things. So I will put the links to all those products. There's like headbands that I use and then um, a scarf scrunchie. I'm gonna put the links down below so you guys can go check them out. The scarf scrunchie is $3.99 from Forever 21. And then the um, headbands for a pack of five of them, it's $11.99. So they're literally the best headbands ever. Also everything that I used on my hair today, I will put the links to that down below as well. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and have a happy fun summer. <laughs> I'll catch you in my next one.